A new climax battle is on the horizon, that's right, Night Eye is coming to the game, and thanks to this notice that has popped up in the game today, we know exactly when to expect this climax battle, what typing he's going to be, and what characters we should be working on, upgrading and developing so that we are ready for this climax battle. Now, if you are not familiar with what climax battle is, it is end game content where you can compete against an insanely hard boss, and if you beat that boss on double S difficulty, you get the UR character for free, meaning you will get a free you are Night Eye. Now, all the previous Climax Battle characters have been fairly decent, but I am expecting this guy to be really, really good because this is our first ever You Are Night Eye in the game, and I am so excited. So let's go ahead and take a look at the notice in game that tells us about Night Eye's typing, and then we'll take a look at the characters you guys should be developing and working on to prepare for this climax battle. We're gonna go ahead and tap into this first notice here that says, Upcoming, a new powerful enemy emerges in climax battle. And then when we get into this notice here, you will see that it says, Thank you for playing My Hero Ultra Impact. Here are some details about the climax battle that is starting on the 23rd of November at 1500 JST. So that is 10 days away from recording this video, 10 days from the time the teaser image started getting shown in the game. The climax battle this time will feature a new powerful enemy. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down. And it says, what is Climax Battle? Climax Battle is an event that allows you to obtain UR characters by claiming victory, blah, 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 all that stuff I just told you. But the important part is the part at the bottom of this. It says, the powerful boss will be an ABL type character. So train and level up your memories and int type characters to prepare for this intense events mode. All right, so Night Eye is going to be an ABL character. That is really cool. And then for future rewards, play Climax Battle to get UR characters that can only be obtained through this event mode, hero gems, and other awesome rewards. You actually always get a decent amount of hero gems, but obviously the big, big prize is getting Night Eye. So let's go ahead and head over to the character box, take a look at all the green characters in the game, and I will give you guys my ideas on what I think are going to be the best green units to work on. Of course, keep in mind that we don't know what gimmicks Night Eye is going to have yet. When we do know, I'll do another update video for that. But these are just characters in general that I will think are good that will probably be useful in this climax battle. So looking at all of the green characters, I do have every green UR character in the game. I think Sue is going to be invaluable as long as Pierce is allowed, okay? So they have these gimmicks where they say, you know, Pierce is not allowed. So, but in terms of damage, right? Sue is gonna be one of your best green damage dealers if her Pierce is allowed in this climax battle. In terms of support, I think you're looking at either Compress or Fantasy Jiro as your best green supports. They are both really, really good supports and really solid. In terms of speed, if we need speed, you're looking at Gentle Criminal, leveling him up potentially. Uh, you're looking at Green Hawks for speed. They both have pretty decent speed. And looking at these other characters, yeah, uh, Green Eda might actually be decent for speed as well, plus he has the additional normal attacks, which could be useful. And then if you're looking for tanks in the green category, you don't have a lot to choose from actually, but luckily we just got a new green tank somewhat recently, and that would be Green Mario. So I think Green Mario is probably gonna be worth investing in. I think he'll actually probably be very useful in this climax battle. One of the most useful characters I'm guessing, or I'm hoping, uh, I, I think he will be. So I think he is probably worth investing in. That would be my guess or my hope. Beyond Green Mirio, I maybe we finally get the chance to see Green Bakugo shine because this Green Bakugo right here does some insane, like insane, insane stacking. So let's go ahead and take a look at his kit because I feel like he is a underutilized character and I feel like he, he could pop off in this event, in this climax battle right here. So his plus ultra move deals 650% damage to a single opponent, medium chance of burning the opponent for three turns, increases character's critical hit rate by 15%. That is stackable. Every time he does a plus ultra, he permanently increases his critical hit rate by 15%. That could be really, really good in Climax Battle, especially when he has type advantage like he does. 
For the first action skill, Armor Piercing Shot deals 350% damage to a single opponent, low chance of burning the opponent for 3 turns, also increases the character's power by 10%. That is really good as well because that is stackable too. That is insane, like, right? This Bakugo could be really, really good in this climax battle. I think he's definitely worth him working on. He's a general pool character and he could be one of your best damage dealers. Like if you lack fantasy suit, this guy right here could be one of your best damage dealers. His second action skill, Max Firepower, increases character's critical hit rate by 25% for 4 turns, increases character's power by 10%, which is stackable again, and then it also increases his own plus ultra gauge by 25%, which is really nice as well. Now, he does have a 6 turn cooldown, so that is kind of one of the downsides uh, to this Bakugo. His first auto skill, when battle starts, makes character ecstatic for 3 turns, increases character's critical hit rate by 15% for 3 turns, and increases his speed by 15% for 3 turns, so he has some pretty good initial buffs on the character. His second auto skill, Nitro Shot, increases character's critical skill impact by 20% when critical hit rate is increased, so he's just going to hit harder the more crit he has, and as you've seen, his crit is stackable, which is insane. Also shortens character's action skill cooldown time by 1 for every 3 critical hits, so we don't have to worry about him having longer cooldowns on his skills here if you're hitting crits which you probably will be so this bakugo can actually be really insane and potentially i would argue he could be a carry character for you in this upcoming climax battle and then Todoroki, this is just kind of like my honorable mention right here. I think this Todoroki is really good. Not a lot of people are going to have him. I know at the time he came out, a lot of people have been summoning for other characters, so they didn't have the hero gems to spend on this character. But if you do happen to have this Todoroki, I think he's uh, really, really good with everything that he has going on. He has resistances, he has status ailments, and I think the resistances apply to the whole team. I actually haven't had a ton of chances to use him. But uh, let me see here. Let's look at his auto skills at least. For his first auto skill, it's called Almighty. Increases action skill impact of all allies by 30% when character's max HP is increased. That's really good. That's going to make your allies hit harder. Increases speed of all allies by 20% when character's frostbite resistance is increased. Also increases defense of all allies by 20% when character's burn resistance is increased. So that's really good. He's going to give speed. He's going to give defense. And he's going to also give extra skill impact to your allies. This guy is a really good buff for a green team and he's gonna I bet you he could be really useful in this climax battle as well and then he gives himself burn and frostbite resistance with his action skills up above so you'll be able to within two turns actually give your teammates extra speed and extra defense which is really good and then additionally his second auto skill increases the critical hit rate of all ally in type characters by 25% so I think he is actually really solid I think a decent team here would be that Todoroki the green Bakugo and maybe like Fantasy Jiro or Compress. Probably my ideal team. But once again, we don't know exactly what this climax battle is going to entail. So I it could be totally different than what I'm thinking right now. But those are kind of the characters I would focus on more. Notice I didn't really mention Green Najire. I didn't mention Green or Araka. I didn't mention the original general pool green Todoroki. I didn't mention uh, Shinso. I don't think those characters are going to be super, super useful. So I would probably avoid them. Not to say that they're bad, but I feel like there's just better green characters that are going to specifically fit what we need here. Definitely don't use green Deku. And I probably wouldn't use the green Yukata Deku either because I don't think he's going to be super useful compared to some of these others. Green Present Mike might have his place, but we'll just have to wait and see. So, I mean, priority wise, I would say focus on Sue. I would say focus on Jiro. I'd say focus on Compress. I'd say focus on New Year's Todoroki right here. Green Bakugo is going to be fairly decent. Perhaps Gentle Criminal, but you can't really focus on him. But you know, uh, if you might already have him level 130, so you might already be winning there. I would say Mirio is probably going to be useful. I would say Hawks might be useful. And then Green Eda might be useful. So those are kind of the characters that I would focus on if I were you guys. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit. And as we get more news on this Climax Battle, I will be sure to update you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Peace.